Okay, two old guys talking about things that matter to gray people. Um, I mean, whatever. Not necessarily. It could be colorful gray people like we are. Uh, yeah. But but uh, so I want to start us off today, John, uh, because I know it's something that you know something about, and I know very little about. It's allergy season. It is allergy season. Uh, so, let, no, no, so let me start off because, and then I'm going to just listen to you. I'm turning it over to you. Uh, I'm sure I'll have something smart to say in between, but. I I had I had uh, apparently allergies as a kid. I was allergic. I think they said to dust and pollen, and oh, they typical. and for a couple of years. And I think it was probably from like nine to eleven or something. Like I took uh, something called parabenzamine. It was this awful tasting green medicine in a in a hard <laughs> brown bottle. I think they may, may have said parabenzamine on it. And then by the time I was twelve or thirteen, I grew out of it, and I haven't had any allergies of any kind since. So I'm really sort of like um, in the dark about this stuff, but I know you've had allergies. I've, I, I still do. I get, yeah. I'm very allergic in springtime to uh, pollen dust. Anytime the there's, there's seasons change, hmm. uh, I can get easily get uh, sinus infection or something like that. Um, but I once had, I, I was told as a kid, uh, that I was allergic to penicillin. Now, mm. I don't remember anything about having a bad reaction to it, but I still tell people at my age, when I ask you, are you allergic to anything? I say, yeah, penicillin. I don't need to test it <laughs> to find out if I'm still allergic, you know? Just don't give me penicillin. And there's too many other drugs that replace penicillin. But I think it's for most of us at our age, over 50, you really need to be aware of whether you're allergic to anything in particular. And I think, I don't know if that this is true. Maybe somebody in our audience can verify it. I was told as a kid that I was an allergic. In other words, I'm one of those people hmm. that is susceptible to allergies that some people might not be, but I am. And if that's the case, and hopefully somebody can confirm that that's a true condition. If that's the case, then you have to keep an eye out for new allergies. Mm. Uh, I think, and, and so I do, you know, what am if I, if my body's changing, is it good, bad? Is it, am I allergic to something? But I had one time, uh, as an adult in Wisconsin, I was on a location shooting and we were outside of a hotel and they had built a, a, a maze, if you will, like a, like a course through weeds, they were, and the weeds were were, were mm. waist high, waist high. They were head high, and they and so you'd go through this maze and you try to find your way out and come back, and it was a lot of fun. Well, the weeds got to me. I went through this thing, and all of a sudden, I, my throat started uh, tightening up. You mean like the anaphylactic, the anaphylactic uh, shock? Like when yes, you hear like people eat shellfish. Yes, very similar, mm. very similar. And, um, and so I couldn't breathe and I was literally choking and I sent a, a runner over to the grocery store. I said, get, just get me any cold medicine that says antihistamine. Cause mm. I knew basically what the problem was. And I went inside to an air conditioning, uh, location, took the medicine, stayed inside for a couple of hours and it, and it went away pretty quickly. But uh, yeah, and it, it, the point is that it's pretty, it can be serious. Hmm. And if you are an allergic type person, you know, you've got an allergy to this, you may well have an allergy to something else. For me, it's, it's mostly pollen in springtime. Hmm. You know, but, it's kind uh, of interesting. A lot of people um, uh, who aren't allergic to anything and don't have any problems later in life, they become uh, lactose intolerant. They become yes. gluten uh, they have yeah. to avoid uh, uh, gluten from a wheat product. And, and those are those are basically allergies. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, just as we get older, even though we haven't had any problems with anything related to that, so if, if you're feeling like crummy, in the, particularly in springtime, uh, you might uh, 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 suspect an allergy and um, uh, and get it uh, treated because. There are treatments for all this stuff. Uh, uh, sure. Just about everybody that I know that has allergies. They have either prescription or they have over-the-counter stuff, so that you don't have to feel miserable uh, during yeah. the, the uh, growing yeah. season. Yeah, and things like you mentioned, lactose intolerant and gluten uh, uh, problem. 
those sometimes are hard to figure out what it is. Right. But once you figure it out, it's easy to manage. Yeah. So uh, allergies are, are kind of important. And yeah, it starts with the common uh, springtime pollen uh, reaction. But uh, everybody should keep an eye out for uh, an allergy that you might not have had before. Yep. Well, yeah. be, uh, uh, as I said in Hell Street Blues, be careful out there. Amen. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.